Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Steve again, Harmless Rebel. I decided to do um, another video answering Robert's questions. He wanted us to show our record room. I'm going to do a couple things in this one. But uh, I wanted to do a true uh, record room video. Um, everybody makes their room look all nice and uh, organizes it, puts everything in the right place before they do their uh, videos. I'm going to show you kind of the true collector's record room i haven't cleaned anything everything is exactly um the way it was before i did this video um so you can kind of see uh what a record collector's room really looks like all right guys just a sec all right so here goes my mess you can see over here this is my my work setup uh, my desktop right there so these are all this is kind of my CD and seven inch inbox right there. Um, stuff I haven't listened to yet or stuff that I am listening to right now. Uh, CDs and stuff shoved in every conceivable place that I can put them. A couple of the box sets up there. Another box set. Over here we've got some country CDs. Up on top we've got some Japanese CDs uh, right here. These are all MoFi CDs right there. Those right there are Blind Guardian. We got some CD box sets and some books in the back there. Let's see. Uh, my guitar amp. So let's come around. And the sign of a true collector is records just piled up everywhere. So this is my basically my record inbox. This is stuff that... Uh, has come in that I haven't quite spun yet. Most of it, some of it I've spun, it just ended up in there. Over here, oops. Over here, we've got my seven inch records. Let me pick up the stuff I just knocked over. So we've got my seven inches right there. Let's see. Got a whole mess of stuff over here. Some of this is stuff that I'm mailing out to people. Some of it's stuff that um, I'm going to be uh, either selling or trading. Um, this has duplicate CDs that I need to get rid of. Some signed drum heads that I'm eventually going to put on the wall. Um, the back one's Robert Sweet. And uh, the front is uh, Adler from Megadeth. Uh, let's see. Oh. Up here, I kind of took a cue from Scott Waters. Got my uh, signed drumsticks up there. We've got Raven, uh, Chris Slade from ACDC. Uh, uh, Robert Sweet from Striper. What else we got? Uh, yeah, Adler from Megadeth, uh, Sabotage. Um, nothing much has changed with the, the records on the wall, but that's about to change. I'm about to redo this whole room. Uh, Robert asked about record cleaning machines. That's the, uh, the record doctor. Um, I highly recommend this, this record cleaning machine. Um, I looked at spending like four or 500 bucks on the Okinoki or the, uh, there was one other that's in the five, $600 range. Um, and then I saw this one and I, I saw some reviews and everybody loved it. And so do I. So I started off like everybody else does, um, using the, started off just using, uh, uh, spray and a towel and then eventually moved on to the, the spin clean, which I used for man, five or six years. And, uh, finally I just got sick of having to, the problem with the spin clean was, I would wait till I had like 30 or 40 records to clean and then do them all at once. So I would have stuff that I would buy that I wanted to listen to, but you know, it was just too much hassle to put, to get it all set up just for one record. Well, with the cleaning machine, I can just grab whatever I want, throw it on there. And in a minute and a half, uh, it's on the turntable. Um, highly recommend this thing though. I love it. Um, uh, there were a couple records that with the spin clean, um, it didn't clean them out and I was actually going to get rid of them because I just thought they were bad pressings and I ran them through this and it got everything. And so I love this thing. <sighs> Not much has changed in my stereo. Robert asked about SACDs. This one does play. The Sony here does play SACDs and regular CDs. Um, you can see I've got, uh, 
a white label promo stained class on the turntable right now. Um, I also just refurbished my Technics. Um, I love this tape deck. It's the uh, M255X. Uh, my dad bought that new in 1981 or 1982. Um, I just got it out of the shop. It's one of the best sounding tape decks I've ever heard, shy of the Nakamichis and the ones that are in the thousand plus dollar range. Um, this one was like 400 bucks new. Maybe it was it was either 399 or 499 brand new. So. Um, pretty pricey for the time and it's that mid-tier tape deck um it's the uh dolby uh the dolby not the dolby nr they have a they have a name for this type of deck though i can't remember what it is but it's it's kind of the step right below the nakamichis and stuff uh so down here so the way the record collection is set up is uh this is uh my metal rock and hard rock it's it's 90 percent metal and hard rock i've got some box sets up there in the corner there um so that's the main part that's through s i think and then you come over here and that's the rest of that section this used to be my country and jazz and a couple of other things i've moved those so for that you got to come into my closet here so the top six are going to be my country and then the bottom two are going to be my jazz up here more box sets i mean the box sets go all the way across i've got a couple more box sets that just recently came in right here so these are some of the recent ones to let it be uh technical ecstasy those were both uh, christmas presents from my wife and then the Bowie Brilliant Adventure. Uh, so again, CDs. Got some of the music. Funko Pops up there. Some more uh, CD box sets and uh, whatnot. And uh, that's pretty much my mess. More records laying everywhere. So this huge box right here. Um, I ordered from a guy online on Facebook he sent three records in this huge box right there and one of them still had a seam split because he put it in there too loose so more stuff this is all stuff that I've just listened to in the last week or so some of it will be in a video some of it won't be another MoFi there so that's pretty much it guys Here's a new one. I don't think I've shown that before. I went to see The Obsessed. Um, got a, a signed drum head. You got Wino right on the lady's face there. And I think the rest of this has all been shown. So that's pretty much it, VC. I hope everybody's good. Take care. Bye.